Here we are with Attack on Titan Season 4 Part 2 Episode 12. And yeah, this is the last episode of the season. Before we have to wait now for the final, 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 final season that comes out I think next year. So yeah, let's see what's gonna happen now. If you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe or comment, let me know what you think. And I would say let's get to the episode. Nah, he was, he had always the hatred. He always hated. <clears throat> what is this? Did they scout it? Marlene before? And that's what this is basically? <clears throat> and that's Sasha, right? I guess so. I guess this is like some scouting they did before. Not what I expected for the last episode. I thought it would end with a bang. Everyone is watching in the back. This is our enemy. Stowell. Yeah, I guess it's still something maybe that is not completely known to everyone. <laughs> Levi in a kid's game because he's so small. Yeah. 
they were still behind walls, basically. Yeah, he didn't have a good time here. I guess because he saw these as his enemies, basically, right? At this point. <clears throat> if we think back to season 3, the end. Where he points to the sea and is like, on the other side are our enemies. Here they go again. Did something bad, has to be an alien. Did Aaron follow? I don't see him. And got some money. Ah, Aaron is here. Where's Mikasa? Oh, she's sitting there. And Aaron is in the back. I'm constantly looking if maybe Aaron at some point, like, gets away. Wanders off. And he's gone. <laughs> Guess he's just there, maybe. I don't think he will go far.
the love of my life. Of course, someone comes in. More chocolate? <laughs> getting drunk <laughs> it's kind of funny that everyone's like yeah they are basically the same as we are and now he's like, yeah, let's kill him. <laughs> so he knows basically that there are people that are not bad necessarily, that are basically the same. But he doesn't care. He just wants to kill everyone that is not Eldian and not on the island. Mm -hmm. Nasha is too drunk. Or maybe overeaten. Showing them how they think here about the aliens on the island. <laughs> that early he left? Dude, he left like a long time ago. Because his hair was shortened. When, we, when they saw him again, it was like long. So it must have been a long time for the hair to grow that much. What if I told him I love him? I don't know if that would have changed much, right? I mean, what could she have said that would have changed his mind? His hatred?
man, he got big. I think it's interesting that we saw that we saw so little of Historia. So she knew and didn't told anyone? Yeah, she kind of was like the new Ymir, right? You can do it. Because she likes you. True. So he knew that it... He went all out. Is this why he maybe wants to distance himself from Mikasa? Because he knows that he will die soon? Here we go. What is this? Oh, are they anticipating him? <clears throat> Destroy Aaron. And they won't succeed, I guess. Yeah, they won't be able, but I guess Mikasa and others will. Look at all the smoke. Not rumbling yet. Are they fire from this distance? I wonder if these cannons will have effects on the rumbling titans, right? Or if they are... Because I'm pretty sure these are like anti-Titan cannons, right? <clears throat> they swim? Okay, they are effective. I didn't thought that the Titans would swim. 
Damn. Dude, they have, they seem very fast. Holy shit. I guess they can't stop them all. This is crazy. Because before, the Titan seems, seemed very... <laughs> That's the shit I want to see. Holy hell. They got vaporized. Or vaporized? Because before, Titans seem always very slow. Unless they were like those special Titans that were like... That were like weird, right? Then they could run or some shit, man, they are big. But these seem very fast if they want to. Yeah, now when they walk they are slow, but when they swim they are fast. Does the cannon do nothing? Yeah, they're like, yeah, let's run. Has no effect. I mean, these titans are apparently faster than horses, so I would guess that these people couldn't outrun them. I guess they can't run faster than horses. Shitting their pants. <laughs> All right. Okay, that was episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, I mean, this episode was way more interesting. At least the second half. <laughs> the, like, flashback from when they went to Marlene. Uh, from years ago. Not that much. I think the main part of that was basically... To basically show three things, I guess. One... To see that people that do bad things are immediately seen as potential aliens, right? The boy stole, so must be an alien, right? Then the second thing, the courtroom, I guess it was a courtroom or some shit. Um, that scene, where it's basically like to show how they think about and talk about the aliens, right? And three... Um, Basically that not everyone on the other side is bad, right? There are these people that are basically homeless or whatever from war. And so they are technically good, right? They're not evil and they, like Aaron said, they're like basically the same as they were or they are. Um, so I think that flashback was basically meant to show these three things, right? You do bad, th you do bad things, might be an alien. Aliens are bad, everyone thinks that, everyone is talking about it, and not every everyone is bad on the other side. <clears throat> and yeah, Aaron then just, well, walked away, basically, and started his plan, basically. So, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> and when it comes to Mikasa, she says, like, if she maybe said something different, then maybe... Would have have changed something. I don't know. I mean, she said, he says, what do you see me as? She says family, right? So what else could she have said to maybe change something, right? I love you. Why should he stop? I mean, yeah, let's let me live a happy life with you until I'm dying in a few years. <laughs> um, Wouldn't really have worked, right? I mean, he could still be like, okay, then we maybe if 
he would have gone that way. He could have said maybe like, yeah, then let's live a few good life, uh, good years. And then I start my plan and destroy everyone. And then you can live the rest of your life happily, right? So I don't know. I feel like that would have, wouldn't have changed anything else, uh, anything. And what else could she have said, right? There's nothing else that she could have said to change his mind, I guess. So it's kind of pointless to think about that part. Because he's just so dead set on killing everyone so that he can protect the people on the island that he knows and that he wants to live. Um, so, yeah. Um, and yeah, like I said in the episode, I think it's very interesting that in this season, like season four overall, part one and two, we barely saw Historia. I think the end now was the most we saw of Historia. Otherwise, we just saw her in some flashbacks, and then when she was sitting uh, pregnant on her, like, uh, on a, uh, at her house, right, outside, and the dude came out and said, hey, come in. Uh, so, yeah. So there wasn't much Historia, which I think is very interesting. I thought there would have been more, was I assumed wasn't the case and yeah otherwise yeah the fleet almost all ships with the biggest cannons they can get assembled and got wiped out <laughs> like nothing but i mean hey, at least they took some titans out right but i mean based on what they said like there are millions of those titans that built the wall or i would say maybe not millions but at least like i would say a few thousand probably because it's three giant walls and those walls have walls um for like the smaller districts um <clears throat> so yeah there must be a lot of titans right so they took out a few but yeah, I think maybe 1%, if even. And the other cannons they had on the on land did nothing. So yeah, they said if this couldn't stop them, then nothing can. But I mean, like I said, I think I can imagine that Aaron probably won't succeed. So that it has a happy ending. Aaron won't succeed, gets killed or something. And he, so I guess Aaron won't succeed, gets either killed and it's like happy ending. They maybe come to the conclusion that everyone can live happily ever after. Um, or maybe they can talk some sense into Aaron and then they can maybe live happily ever after. I guess that's the two options. I mean, maybe another option is they stop Aaron, he will die eventually maybe not immediately maybe they maybe can talk some sense into him and he stops the, that whole thing the rumbling and then he gets killed because then everyone every Eldian gets killed because they are still seen as a threat and they don't live happily ever after um i guess that's like the three or rather four big outcomes i would imagine either all the Eldian, either they stop Eren and then all the aliens die because the not aliens don't want to live in harmony with the aliens or they talk some sense into Eren and then everyone lives happily ever after or they kill Eren and then they live heavily, uh, happily ever after. <laughs> I think one of those outcomes is probably the most likely one that it has like a happy ending somewhat. I mean, if all the aliens die and then it's not a happy ending, right? Um, but like the other two endings would be happy ending. Those are, I think, the most likely ones. Either Aaron dies and they live in harmony, or Aaron gets stops and then they live in harmony. Or maybe Aaron succeeds, which I think is probably not very likely. So that's basically, I think, the four possible endings, in my opinion. <sighs> and yeah, we will see, right? I mean, I mean, we don't know how long it will take. Like, I mean, Aaron now reached Malane, right? So, how far 
Amika signs Abbas on the ship. Um, how long will they take to get to where they want to go to get the flying boat ready, right? If it takes a few hours, by that time they can move so much further on the mainland, right? That there will be lots of destruction. But I mean, they said that Lib Liberio will probably be already destroyed when they came and uh, when they arrive, right? Because they are so far behind by now. But yeah, I mean, I guess there's nothing much else to say, right? And yeah, I, like I said, I guess, um, I guess, uh, the way Aaron talked to Mikasa that it's just because she's an Ackerman that she instinctly, instinctly, uh, protects Aaron. I guess he just said it to distance himself, right? I guess. Because based on what Zeke said, that it's probably because she loves him, which she does. Um, and that it's not something that it's just, that it's not something that is like based on the Ackermans, right? Um, so I guess maybe he wants to distance himself from her, that she is not feeling bad, that when he is dead eventually, I guess, or maybe that she wouldn't try to interfere, right? That he just wants to push her away, that he can do his plan. Um, yeah. So, I, yeah, like, I guess there's nothing much to say, I think, otherwise, right? Is there something? Not really. It, it will be interesting to see if someone dies in the next season, right? Like, maybe will Reiner die? Will any die? Will Armin die? Will Falco die? Will who will die? Right? Will someone die of the main characters? Will no one die? Uh, right. I guess that could be interesting to think about who could die and who won't die. <clears throat> and I'm still wondering, like, how much can Eren influence the Nine Titans? Right. Also interesting that Historia knew what Eren was planning to do and didn't told anyone, right? She knew that he wants to destroy everyone else that is not on the island, basically, and she didn't told anyone. Basically, he only told Flock and Historia about the plan, what he wants to do, and and I guess the other Jaeger is found out, maybe. Maybe the other Jaeger is didn't found out what his plan was, and they just followed Flock's command. And Flock told him what to do, and only he knew exactly what the plan was and Historia, and she never told anyone. Could have all pre been prevented if Historia would have talked, <laughs> right? Um, <clears throat> which is also inter interesting because Aaron said to Historia that he just wipes out her memory, right? Um, I completely forgot about that. The founding titan can erase memories. Couldn't he just erase the memories of like Armin, Reiner, Annie, Mikasa, Anji, Eek, Falco, Gabi, everyone basically? Because they are all aliens and then they don't know what's going on and who's left, right? <laughs> Who is left on the ship that knows what's going on? The Hizurus. And Yelena. And is Onyopoko? Onyoko still around? I don't know. Is he around? I think he is around, right? Or is he, did he die? I can't quite remember. I think he's still around, right? I don't know. I don't pay attention to him, really. I saw him in the flashback. I think if he's not around, I think that confuses me right now. That I saw him in the flashback. Um, But yeah. If he would do that, there would be barely anyone around that would know what is going on. <clears throat> and I mean, if even if he's not doing that, I'm wondering how much can Aaron control other Titans? Could he manipulate the nine Titans? Like, obviously, any Armin, Reiner, Falco, that maybe they couldn't use the Titan powers anymore. That they maybe just can't transform anymore. 
that would be a huge disadvantage if you could do that. I mean, I I would imagine, since it's the founding titan, I would imagine it should be possible. He could undo the hardening, which is the whole reason why any is here right now, right? And he could undo the hardening on, um, uh, on Reiner's titan, which made him basically useless. So, and like I said, it's basically the founding titan. He has basically full control over Eldian bodies and control over titans. So I would imagine that he should be able to make it so that Eldians can't transform. Right? That he could change their blueprint in their body. If he can make it so that they can't give birth, then he shouldn't be able to make it so that they can't transform. I would imagine. <clears throat> It should be possible, right? And, uh, but I mean, for convenience reasons, because otherwise they wouldn't stand a chance, it probably won't happen, right? Or maybe it will happen next season, so that Armin and Mikasa have to go in person up to Eren and talk to him, maybe, to in order to stop him somehow, make it super dramatic, no one can do anything against him, and then Mikasa and Armin have to talk to him, to talk sense into him, that he maybe stops. Mm -hmm. Can't see that happening. Um, but I mean, <clears throat> still, even if they can use their titans, I can't see a way how they could maybe beat him. Because if he can control the big-ass titans he has around him, those would be enough, I guess, to fight Armin and... Uh, Armin and Reiner and Annie and all and uh, uh Balco, right? I mean, Armin could be could maybe be a threat because he's basically one of the big ones himself, and he has more control, I guess, because he knows what he's doing. While the one that Aaron controls are just very like stupid, I would say, right? They are very straightforward. Um, but just the sheer amount, I would say, should be enough to even beat Armin. I would imagine, right? So I I just can't see based on the amount of Titans Aaron controls, basically, I can't see a way how they can win against him even with the Titans. They are just outmatched completely, I would say. And I mean they are steaming. So like without Titan forms, like Mikasa, I think, couldn't even get close to one of the big ones. She would just like evaporate like the people on the ships based on the hot on the hot steam and i think maybe even like um armin and uh Reiner and any maybe even those in titan form would get damaged from the hot steam i guess i would think maybe maybe i'm not sure about that but i would imagine that it may might even hurt them maybe not so much Reiner because Reiner has the armor right unless Eren undoes that again I'm I'm just going on for whatever it's 16 minutes already. But yeah, that's basically the episode. Next season will be interesting to see what's happen, or what's happening. Right, I gave my like four predictions what I think might happen. So again, either Aaron succeeds is my prediction. Bad ending, another bad ending. They stop Aaron and then the people. That are not Eldian are still pissed and just kill all the Eldians, basically. Bad ending. Or the two good endings. Either they stop Eren by talking sense into him and he stops. And then they all live happily ever after and the not Eldians are like, okay, you guys are not so bad. Um, or they kill Eren and then it's happily ever after. So yeah, that's my predictions. Everyone succeeds. All the aliens die. Aaron gets defeated and they live happily ever after. Or Aaron stops and they live happily ever after. Two bad endings, two good endings. I think those will... That's my guesses for the outcomes of the anime. But yeah, we will see. So yeah, if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.